How's it guys? Welcome to day two in Milan. Well, yesterday I didn't really count. The weather is not so great. Uh, as you can see, there's water droplets here. It is raining at the moment. Not only did I not pack a raincoat, but even if I had packed a raincoat, it wouldn't be here because my luggage didn't arrive. I just had a uh, another quick shower just because um, last night I think I may have got a bit sweaty and I don't actually have any deodorant because obviously my toiletry bag is not here because my main suitcase is not here. But in the little toiletry pack that they gave me, I got a nice little deodorant wipe, which I figured I would save for the morning in the event that my bag didn't arrive. So I get to use this now. I mean, I've never, I, yeah, I've never used this. You know, people think that YouTubers live some glamorous lifestyle, but no, in reality, Deodorant wipes. Oh yeah, get that. That'll sort me out for a full day, I'm sure. I hope this is gonna work in the way that I think it's gonna work, like preventative measure as opposed to post measure. Um, these actually seem to be pretty useful. Now that that's out the way, uh, let me tell you guys what we are gonna get up to today. The best part is, I don't actually know. We have been kept a little bit in the dark, but we can go through my little thing here. Heineken 72 hours Milan Formula 1 Gran Premio Heineken d'Italia 2018. Day 1, Friday 31st of August. We need to start the weekend off the right way. Should I do this in an Italian accent or is that going to be offensive? We need to start the weekend off in the right way by looking and feeling our best. Friday will see us experience a few of Milan's hidden gems to ensure we are ready for an action-packed Formula 1 weekend. I don't know how that turned into Borat a little bit, but this right here, right? Okay, well, there's David. What's up? David Coulthard. But this right here is what made me not shave and cut my hair because I was like, you need to get ready for the weekend. And I figured if you got that in there, you better be taking me to a barber. So a little update with my bag situation is that um, Air France, they, apparently they know where it is, but um, it's in Paris. So it's coming over a little bit later, hopefully. All right, my prediction was right. We have arrived at our first stop. It's a hidden gem of Milan, I've been told. Uh, it's a Barbieri per uomini. Barbieri per uomini gentili. This is very cool. Um, so this is the name of the place here. We just had a little intro. Uh, Tonso Club. And this is uh, dedicated to men's grooming. The tradition at Tonsil Club is your first time here, you need a shot of whiskey. So, we've been given shots of whiskey. What do we say? Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. chin, chin. Yeah, nice chin, bro. <laughs> are we supposed to neck it or are we, are we sipping it or? Well, that's nice. I could get used to this. This is Francesco, and he's going to be cutting my hair today. And we are going to be cutting my hair, funnily enough, like one of the other barbers, Fabio, over there, where we're going to be going quite short, uh, short on the top, machine on the sides. I'm trusting it's the Italian classic, eh? Italian classic. Italian classic. Phase one. I'm hiding here in the towels, I think. <laughs> Where's everyone else? The beard trim has been done pretty much. We're going to do a scrub. Um, and I've decided I'm going to try. This is the Heineken 00. Zero. We not we haven't been asked to try these, but they're on offer here. And because it's not even 12, I figured I would taste it. And now's the perfect time. Um, and then I'll move on to a beer afterwards. That's mad. I feel like it does taste slightly different, but very close. Shave done. Time for a wash and we'll move on to the hair. We are done. I'll do a good flip around in a bit to show you guys properly. Francesco, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, look at that. <laughs> Almost completely different. But in Italy, get an Italian haircut, why not? You know? I like it. This is what I look like now. Alla Fabio. <laughs> a little bit of food, everyone's already eaten because I took so long. We got some pasta, pizza, bread. What are these little guys? That's like a little kitty's beer. I'm actually, I'm really liking this. I really. It looks better from up here, but then you can't see my face. So you guys just have to trust me. But I really like it. 
natural lines, a little face scrub, moisturizer, the works. Leaving Tonso Club with a, a fresh cut. We are now heading on to the next place. So this gentleman over here, I forgot his name already. Don't tell him. He is uh, Milanese. So he was born and raised in Milan and he knows all the secret fashion shops and places. Uh, so we're gonna go do a bit of shopping, I believe. Pick out some outfits for, or pick out an outfit for race day, but we'll see. Wow. Oh my God. What was that? I filmed it way too late. That was beautiful. Our first stop is Wok. Now's a good opportunity as well to introduce you to Torben. This is Torben. Hey guys. <laughs> Torben from Germany. 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 And you are? Um, An Instagram German. Uh, German. <laughs> Super. So this place has a bunch of different brands. Uh, Simon was telling us, this is Simon here, he's the fashion expert. And they do all sorts of different uh, interesting local brands, foreign brands, but like different. I mean, okay, there's some Adidas, but like I am very much out of my depth in a shop like this. <laughs> it's far too fashionable for me. So I've just picked out some t-shirts. We are Vandals. It's a pretty cool one. That's like bigger than I would normally get, but oversized is a thing. And this one, just because uh, Simone picked this one out and he was like, that'll be cool on you. I mean, this is kind of cool, but I don't know if you wear it with the jeans, you know? I don't, this is tough. I... Shopping is not my forte, let's put it that way. Kind of like this one. Hey, what's up? I have no idea, guys, help. So I just tried this bad boy on. This thing is so cool. I don't even know if it's my style, but it just looks so cool that I, I want it. Can you see it with the blue on the sleeves and the, just looking for a bigger size. Oh, you got a bigger one. I think I got a bigger one. Legend. So this is it. Sergio. I'll learn the name, but yeah. And the guy said it comes with a tracksuit pants as well. Sergio Tacchini. This is absolutely mad. Shopping with a bunch of guys. Most of them are way more fashionable than me, but we've got some legit fashion experts here. What do you think of these? Like a, with these, I feel like I could be a German app developer, you know? Something to do with the efficiency of public transport. Sorry, mate, did you ask a question? <laughs> we need to get these in matching. Wear them. We'll get on TV at the Grand Prix. And uh, look what we have here. We have a uh, Formula One car. Wonder what it's doing here. The best hungover food in Milan is this big shop here. They've got a big M for Milan. You know it. Apparently, according to Simone, this is the best place to have gelato in town. And on a Sunday it pumps. But unfortunately we're not stopping, I don't know why. But unfortunately we're not. We've got a tight schedule to keep. And we've got to head to the next shop to look at more clothes, more fashion. Oh, almost. So this is from the Roman era. So super old, these, these are old things. Simone was saying that uh, is that guy okay? Oh, no he's not. Oh, Jesus. That's what happens when you're in Milan. Hey, there's old stuff around. Every now and again. <laughs> this is the new shop. Frip. So I've gone for something a little different, right? Because I saw it and I was like, in this picture it looks like it's little goats. But if you look at it close up, it's a really wild pattern. Worn by Jay-Z apparently, so I'm going to try that on. You never know. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. But, no. It's not. <laughs> nah. No, I don't think so. It smells nice, but is that, some, is that Jay Z? It smells like Jay Z. We're trying on some new stuff El Charo and these nice light blue jeans that you can't really see because the light's quite yellow, but compared to these jeans, this top proportions are a bit odd for me. And these jeans, I'm on the fence about. I have no idea. Yeah, very cool store. I mean, I've been introduced to a lot of new fashion. I just picked up the jeans. That's all I got. That's what I copped. They've been very clever about how they've done this. We have Heineken's available at every stop, which means, you know, you're thirsty, you have a drink, you boost your confidence a little, you try on something different and you like it. But those jeans were really cool. The fit was really good. Even Sav thought that the fit was really good. We have arrived at the last place. We've got Spazio Sune, shop and studio. Cool mirror. Turns out the mirror is not actually a mirror, but there's the sickest t-shirt over here look at this internet with the that's so cool this is the downstairs space all blue what's that okay that's attached there <laughs> the 
this is not my shot battle. <laughs> How's this? They even have a top with a backpack built into the back of it. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> What's that? Ninja Turtles. <laughs> do they have it? Do they have one in green? Do they actually? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we are back at La Gare um, with all of our spoils. I believe you've got one of my t-shirts. In there. Wait, you give, give me, give me. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but I actually ended up going for this one. So we got these little goodie bags at the Tonsor. These are Heineken bags though, so I don't think it has anything to do with Tonsor. It might, might not. But let's open that up and see what treats we got because I don't know about you guys, but I love gifts and presents. Let's have a look. Hey? Hey? What is... Hold on. Turns out that this is exactly what I thought it was. It's dungarees. Heineken dungarees. <laughs> this is so cool. Do, 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 do. Let's get the hand in there and... Hey? <laughs> no ways. Oh, Heineken Speedo, that's so cool. What else do we have in here? Da, da, da. What? What is... I don't know what we might be doing. But I feel like at some point, I might be painting something. I get the feeling. I don't want to ruin my brand new white overalls though. Do they make me look good in the back there? Do I look thick? Thick is a good thing, right? We have just got our taxis to London. We have come to the Apollo Bar Club restaurant. I don't know if this is actually affiliated with the... Is the other Apollo in London? I don't know. This looks very nice. Ooh, pool table though. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. We must be at the right place. Hi, nice. Oh, this place is so cool. I noticed they had a little NES station at the entrance. They've got a little Indiana Jones pinball machine here, 10-up pinball machine. Got a ping pong table. Okay, let's go. It's a proper rally now. We're playing for points here, yeah. Winner buys, other one a beer. They got some DJ decks up. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Get it, DJ Torben in the house. Too old to be new. Too new to be classic. I think this is our private room. Oh, this is real nice. Little tea set there. Special menu. Potato foam, egg mushroom, black truffle. That sounds amazing. First course, risotto with stracciatella cheese, tomato extract and red mazzara shrimps. Second course, croaker fish, celeria, confit tomato, dry capers. Dessert, spiked tiramisu, mascarpone cream, Cacao biscuit, iced coffee, granita, and zambuca. Luna restaurant by Apollo. All right, what we have here is a pre-starter starter. This is a mini carbonara, bread with salmon, bean cream with, I can see some sesame seeds in there, and a little bit of fish, and that might be like micro parsley or something. The taste of the carbonara was something else. Mm, nothing like mine. A hundred times better though. So this is the potato foam egg mushroom. So I'm guessing this is the black truffle at the bottom. Here's the potato foam. And this is actually an egg. It's an egg, but it's designed to look like a mushroom. There we go, that's an egg. Mad. It smells so good. This smells like Newlands Forest to me. It's so good. That's so good. We have moved on from Heineken to some wine again. This is Chianti 2016. Baron Norica Soldi. It's got a nice glass here. The color is good. No, it's too late. I'm afraid. Four sugars. And I'm really accusing the shots and everything. That's very good. Very smooth. Delicious. Course number two, or well, first course actually. We've got risotto with stracciatella, cheese, tomato extract, and red mazza mazzara shrimps. Mazzara is in the south of Sicily. Oh, yeah. South, okay. It's Hopefully it's somewhere near the sea, yeah. Very beautiful. <laughs> Well, Almost looks alive. amazing. Okay. Look Secondi, croaker fish, celeriac, confit, nice. tomato, it's and dry capers. It looks and smells amazing. Okay. What are you saying? I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. You're excited. <laughs> but you described but it better than it looked. <laughs> there we go. No, we're really, you're really pretty. Otherwise, I've got my house is like wow. 500. The skin, <laughs> super crispy. Fish, succulent, delicious. The little, what is that, celeriac underneath? Smooth, creamy, confit, tomato. 
Yeah. It's embarrassing, but it was no. the they, These Italians know their food, I think. And dessert, we have spiked tiramisu, mascarpone cream, cocoa biscuit, iced coffee, granita, and sambuca. So I'm guessing the sambuca is the spike. I saw a bubble coming through. Yeah, you ready? There we go. These are our chefs. We just gave them a round of applause. You guys missed it. You weren't paying attention. There we go. Oh, Alan pulling through for the boys. They were fantastic. Fantastico. Did you say my name? Nice. So good. <laughs> so good. This is so, so good. We have ordered some after dinner <laughs> cafe espressos. And we are having it with. Uh, so, cafe, then amaro. Cafe, then amaro. Show us, Simone. Yeah, vlog takeover. I'm an old guy. There you go. No, I'm an old guy. The stage is yours. So, let's not. Coffee. Coffee. Montenegro. Montenegro. Yeah. Ready to party. I love it. <laughs> what we were gonna do originally before the takeover happened. A little shot of espresso. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Good Italian espresso. That's good as well. I think I preferred the Montenegro. This is, so this was the Amari. This one. But the one that I prefer is this one. Bigger bottles. We have left to... Where's the club? This way. This club is Elita Club and we're going in Via Corsica in Milan. It's good. It's, it's good. good. We have to have a drink. Let's go guys. Free beer. Guys! I love this guy. <laughs> Here's the bar. This is quite packed. I mean, granted, this is a Friday night in Italy, in Milan. And the majority of places are apparently closed. So this is where people are coming. This is busy. Busy. I've gone for a cheeky Moscow meal, a couple of gin and tonics over there, we've got a beer. Elita Bar was really cool. They had a really good Moscow meal. We think, we're not sure because they can't confirm anything, uh, but we think we are gonna have uh, more of a sort of night out tomorrow night, so. So we're gonna head back to the hotel. Um, I might just sign off here because it's not gonna be too exciting going back to the hotel. Let me check out how my fresh cut looks in the wet. Yeah, not bad. That looks pretty good. I might need to, oh shit, I need to pick up some stuff. Otherwise, I will check you guys in the morning for uh, another slice of mat. So Elita Bar was down there, but how cool is the street with these like cobbled stones and it's just a very cool vibe. Okay, Angela, you're gonna teach me how to drive this thing. Italian, Spanish and French. <laughs> That's fine, I can do a little bit of French. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so we're steering with this. Neutral. Neutral. 